lied to me. You said there would be no menus. People started going missing. I tried to help search. That's when I found the ball. It took weeks before I finally understood. It wasn't changing. It was turning. It was a direction no one had ever seen before. And if I watched closely, maybe I could follow it. Press forward and back to move in the first direction. Press left and right to move in the second direction. Press those buttons and then nothing will happen and you'll be mightily confused. Look up and down to move in the third direction. Mm-hmm. Oh, now it's moving. Okay, that's good. I was a bit worried then for a moment. Okay, so allow me to perform a quick experiment. Right, I was wondering when that was going to happen. Okay, in the readme for this game, yes, move in the fourth direction. Yeah, that's the thing it said in the in the in the control setup, which confused me. I'm not convinced how moving the textures around is going to help, but I'm going to hope that's integral to the gameplay mechanic. Right, that is... Let's not even go there. Am I supposed to be leaving? Or am I just supposed to play with the walls? Oh, I can... I, I, I can move things further than, than, than I thought I could. <laughs> okay. Um... Ah, I have opened a hole in the wall. I mean, naturally I have. <laughs> um, right. I'm not even going to try and explain what is going on. I believe this is called I opened the wall or possibly I opened the door or something like that. I forget what exactly. It's I opened something and I found something beautiful. And is this just a blockage? I think this is just a blockage. Press F to use your light. Ah, oh, that's much better. Right. How am I to get past this? I don't think that I am. I don't seem to have a jump. Okay. So we seem to be operating on a sort of a VHS filter kind of shtick, but with the whole play thing up in the left-hand corner, and uh, um, the VHS shimmer, jiggle, wiggle. I don't know what word you'd use to describe it. Um... The only part of the HUD that you can't see is in the upper right-hand corner, where there's just a little, uh, uh, just a six, six, six zeros with, um, with, with dots between them. This is not, not very exciting. So apparently, this is meant to be. Um, uh, I, I don't. I, I, I'm not entirely sure how to get through here. Oh, we're going to run out of these pillars eventually. That's good. Um, apparently it's got something to do with Cosmic Dread. I must admit, I have no idea what Cosmic Dread is. Um, I, 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 I don't believe I've ever experienced Cosmic Dread. Uh, it doesn't sound very pleasant, so I hope that I don't. But, um, I'm not really sure what to expect from all this. Um, it's like, it's like a hand of cards. I think <laughs> like all like all the walls coming up in that manner like a like a hand of cards being held in a game it's freaky it's nice though I, I like I like seeing a new type of world in a game as we saw in uh, in perception as we saw in horror in the museum I always like it when people come up with a new way of designing the world rather than just having your traditional 
you know, here's a sewer, walk through it, get chased by something. You know, when they're a little bit more original than that, they come up with something a bit more exciting. My light is not doing a lot. This is nice, though. I like this. It's a detailed environment. It reminds me of potato chips. It reminds me of Outlast. Hmm. So, I, I don't know if there's actually any, um, action, per se, or, or any, um, story, or anything like that, exactly. Actually, thinking about it, it was probably in there, wasn't it? Actually, thinking about it, the next, the next, um, like, entry point, if I can get through here. I do this. Yeah, here we are. Um, well, there's something opening up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there, though. Um... Kind of. I can move very slowly. It's like I'm walking through mud. Only I'm not. I'm walking through concrete. What if I keep keep moving the fourth direction? Will that help at all? No. What if I close it in on myself? Will that help at all? Somehow I doubt it. Let's let's actually open that back up before we make ourselves a serious mischief and and crush something uh, rather rather sensitive. I don't seem to have a sprint or a crouch or an inventory or anything along those lines. You'd think I'd pay more attention to the readme which listed all the controls. You'd think I'd do that, but naturally I wouldn't because, you know, this is me we're talking about. Pop. There we are. I am through. I am I am through whatever it was that I've just gone through. Do I need to move the fourth direction again? Oh yes, indeed I do. I need to press the right mouse button this time. My light is still doing absolutely nothing to help. Oh, hang on. No, no, hang on a minute. Let's move these down. Uh, or up, rather, so that they don't take my head off. Whatever they are. Pipes. Massive pencils from that, uh, that game I can't remember the name of. Okay, this is very, very tight. I can't fit through here. Pressing the mouse buttons isn't helping at all. Um, I'm not... I'm, hmm. 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 Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hopefully not, because if you're not seeing what I'm seeing, that means you're significantly more innocent and clean-minded than I am. But, um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll brush quickly past that. Hi, friend. Who are you? And why were you floating towards me, bum first? Why is that a thing that happened? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, pressing F is doing nothing. What? Can I get through this? Something's going down, but it's not this. Oh no, this is moving, I think. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we are. Now it's starting to clear a bit. Oh, hang on, my light came back for a moment. Has it been off? Has it been on for too long? Have I, like, drained the battery or something? Ah, oh, there we are. What does this say? Anything, anything funny? Read more comic. What the huck? What? No, I don't, I don't think there's anything entertaining written, written in there. Usually there's many entertaining things written in these sorts of places, but uh, I don't think there's anything funny written here. Hmm, we're somewhere very cold. Which is, uh... <laughs> just quite possibly the most boring thing I've ever said. Right, open the door. Open the door. Open the door with the power of the universe-breaking abilities you seem to contain within your left paw. <laughs> there is a certain degree of tension as you do that because it's so slow. You don't really know um, what, what what it is you're going to find on the other side. Hello? Is there anyone here? Any dimension breaking demons? I wonder what that was for a moment. As it transpires, it is merely a door and there is nothing to worry about. Hang on, this looks like something. Uh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. Hmm, I don't think I can fit through that gap. Hmm, hmm. This looks like more of a gap? I don't know. It's like every, every, every bit of wall. Oh no, hang on a minute, this is a window, I definitely can't fit through here. It's like every bit of window was turned into like those doors they have on trains. 
it's 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 rather confusing figuring out what is what and I'm, I'm i'm sincerely hoping that that is the intention it's meant to be very sort of disturbing and displacing and you're not really supposed to know what's going on it's a nice effect though snow and wind and such like outside of windows usually has a bit of a problem looking 3d and that looks very three-dimensional so or possibly four-dimensional depending on what's going on i'm honestly not sure there's one yes I have no idea what any of this is supposed to mean. Oh, hang on a minute. Um. Oh, here we go. Yes. You'd think this would be difficult to navigate, having no idea what anything is. And having no idea how things could move, because nothing conform confirms... Con con nothing acts within, is basically what I'm trying to say. The standard laws of physics and logic, so... Not that I know much about them. So, um... <laughs> so, um... You'd think this would be difficult to navigate, but somehow it's not. Somehow it's actually relatively sort of volcanic. And, uh, and sort of fluid. Hi again! I, I am rather, rather disturbed by your presence. Pressing these buttons isn't doing anything. What is up with your head? Why do you have some sort of metal plate on it? Why do I get the distinct depression coming down here was the wrong idea? Ah, oh, you have a hockey mask on. This is a dead end. Sir, sir, please kindly calm yourself. Oh, right, okay, he's not dangerous. He just, um, he just, he's just a friend. He just wanted a hug. That's what he wanted, a little physical interaction in this day and age. Can't say that I blame him. This looks like some sort of modern art sculpture. Is there going to be a door in there somewhere? We had things a little bit like this in Skyrim that came up and had doors in them, but uh, that doesn't seem to quite actually help me. Do I need to press myself into the ceiling? Is that what I need to do? That feels like something that would be monstrously stupid to do, and I've just had that point proven by it clearly being going down, not crushing myself into oblivion. Right. I won't do that. Yet, anyway. Wait for there to be another puzzle, and then I'll do it. Okay, there's nothing sneaky or hidden here. Everything seems to be perfectly abnormal. I'm, I'm trying to identify what sort of a place we're in. Whether in like a, a hospital or a school or something. I don't know. All these little sort of didgeridoo-dars on the walls. They remind me slightly of lockers against a wall. Which makes me possibly think it's a school, but I don't have no idea. It could just be a really boring looking building, I don't know. I don't think that's the door we're supposed to go through. My light is still about as useful as a, uh... For some... I don't know, chocolate fire guard or something. I don't know. I can't think of an original one, so I'll steal someone else's. Right, oh, goodness. Hello, friend! How are you today? Are you doing well? I hope you are doing well. Right. So we've got, um... We've got... It's amazingly dark. I'm gonna have to navigate off the, uh... Off, like, the shadow cast by these things. There we are. Oh, yeah, I think I'm having it on too long, I think, is the problem. Some games like to operate that way. If you have the flashlight on for too long, it sort of drains itself, and then you have to turn it off for a while. I don't know what that noise is, but I'm not finding it a very pleasant one. Oh, that door's open now. That door wasn't open before, was it? Hmm. Let's keep going up a little bit further. This is as far as you've got. Does moving in the fourth direction help up here? No, it does not. Right, then let me peek into the void and see if there's anything there. None of these doors are open enough for me to fit my fat bum through, though, which is a bit of a shame. Was it a mistake to come here? I mean, it was a mistake to come into whatever mad universe I currently exist within, so um, that much is for certain, but uh, yeah, clicking the, clicking the mouse button certainly isn't doing it. Oh, oh that 
makes more sense. I don't know why changing the size of someone's retina to the point where we can jump into it and use it as a tunnel to get into this basement. I don't know why I respond to that by saying that makes more sense. And it's quite a terrifying um, fact about this game that I do feel that. But uh, I do. Hi again. Have a smooch. As I've heard, my smooches are deadly. The deadly smooch. Right. Sorry. I'll try to be a little bit more serious regarding this rather, um, well, I would say rather serious game. It seems to be po posing itself in a serious way. I'm just not entirely sure I understand the concept. Oh, you brought your friends. You want many smooches. And many, many smooches. Keep going. You aren't there yet. Am I not? Okay, then. I shall jump into... Oh, it's like that bit in the last crusade. Oh, friends, friends, Romans, countrymen, chill, chill with the moving graffiti, my friends. Do you like a smooch? Smooch, and a smooch, and a smooch. Excellent, excellent. Hit all the most important parts of the smooching, smoochiness there. You've come so far on your own. Well, not really. I've had the audience to help me. Um, I'm not... I'm, in any other game, I think this was, this, this was a broken cell, but um, looking at this now, I'm actually not entirely convinced that's the case. Okay, we're, we're, we've heard, you've heard about raising the roof. Now we're going to raise the floor. Is it like an elevator? And now I go down? Here we are. Sorry, I was standing on a light. Sorry. I've been told off for doing that before, and I must stop doing that. This is freaky. Right. This is... I mean, it's obviously freaky, but you know what I mean. It's like extra freaky. It's like extra freaky. Um, do I just jump into this one? No, no, I just walk. Walk along. Along my merry way. Past the, uh... Past the bedpans the spittoons of this 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 war hospital it would seem ah oh, excellent i'm back on my own two feet again that's always nice to hear you walk in straight lines yet arrive at your beginning well that is the nature of living on a curved earth this has always been the shape of the world yes you're kind of stealing my lines now now you know how to see it. Do I? Is, is, is that what this is about? Trying to see the world in a new light? Um. What? Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, very nice. I'm literally going to have to walk along like this now, which isn't going to do me. Uh, a, a tremendous lot of good, but I'm going to try my best anyway. Goodness. Oh, hi. Whoa. Jason, Jason, Jason. Chill, my friend. Sorry, I'm just cosplaying. I'm a big fan. Relax. I'm not here to steal your IP. It is, it is surprisingly difficult to see through one of these things. This is a path we all must walk. We must peel the walls from our eyes and bones. Must we indeed? Must, must we. I am, I am very sorry. This is weird, though. This is not a descent. No, it's utter lunacy is what it is. Which I, m might possibly be the same thing. You do not yet have a word for the way you are moving. Um, I can't smooch you through this, mate. Oh, and you don't disappear any longer when I smooch. Hmm. Or do you? I don't know. You will learn. Oh, good. I've been back at school. Oh, goodness, that thing has come off. Excellent, I can actually see what I'm doing again. Goodness, I never valued my sight so much before. Complete the circle. Um, okay, we're moving this little red, this little red nose. Okay, so, um, Rudolph's magical Christmas pixie dust tumor has uh, fallen off, and we need to move it into this black ring. I am not convinced that that helped. Uh, actually, let me just put it down there. Just 
All the way down, there we go. Ah. I don't know if this was open before, but I don't think it was. I'm going to assume that you have to put that thing down in order to open up something else. Oh, <laughs> This is very freaky. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a weird Arkham Asylum vibe off of this. I don't know why, just something to do with the architecture, I think. And now I've managed to get myself stuck. Um, oh dear, I'm slightly stuck. Or am I? No, I'm fine. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, goodness. I don't know where I'm going. I'm all, 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 all confused. I can't get on the staircase is the problem. Right, oh, there's a, another staircase here. As it transpires, when they take the mask off you and you can actually see what you're doing, if you actually look, you might see something, Phil. I know this is really, really difficult for you to wrap your minute brain around, but if you think, stuff might make sense. Anyway. This is very, very freaky, though. I've seen things that are vaguely similar to this in... in, um, all the way down. All the way down, I suppose. In AAA games, but I've never seen anything. What? 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 Um. Um. Uh oh. Um. E. Ah. Uh, mm, yes. I'm not entirely convinced this is a good thing. I feel like I'm being buried. Buried alive. Now what? Man alive. I was expecting this game to finish about, I don't know, three scenes ago. Once the walls are open, they cannot be closed. It took weeks before I understood. What, those builders were a really, really bad idea? We float on the surface of the world. All around us lies an ocean, endless. Alive. Beautiful. I am not afraid. When you're better than I am, I'm absolutely terrified of the oceans. And I will go deeper. Deeper into this complete insanity? Why? Why would you do that? Well done, Mike. Well done for confusing the living daylights out of me. Okay, so that was... I opened the walls and I found something beautiful inside. Um... Goodness, I'm not even going to try and define, explain, or give any sort of feedback towards that. That's the kind of thing that you have to put in front of your face, look at, and then ask yourself at the end. I'm now different than I was previously, but I have absolutely no clue how or why and in what way. So I will simply say that from a technical perspective, that was extremely nicely done. It's it's so often that you see a weird mechanic someone's dreamt up, but it's been executed relatively poorly, and that was executed by quite well. As freaky as the movements of the walls were, it was still relatively easy and fluid to get around, and, and that bit with the weird mask was very, very freaky, so... I very much enjoyed that. I have absolutely no understanding of what any of it meant. Um, if you do, then your brain is probably significantly more powerful than mine is. Um, either that or you've just seen an awful lot more weird stuff than I have. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. There's many floppy disks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to... I can't remember what this game is called. Um, this is awfully big. Is that an, um, an Auric, I want to say? With that enormous screen. Oh, what does this say? Um, words, big words, big words that are too difficult for me to read. Okay, um, 
These look quite impressive when I downloaded it. Unfortunately, that's what I can actually remember. System diagnosis. Boot device not found or boot failed. Please install recovery disk and hit any key to restart. Um, okay, where's my recovery disk? Um, uh, wh which of these is my recovery disk? I haven't a clue. Goodness, what a royal mess it is in here. But this this looked quite uh, interesting. This looked a bit sort of different and weird and promising. Oh, maybe, maybe I found it. Hooray! By pure sheer luck, I found the thing. Right, how do I... How do I okay, that's the eject button. Let's learn that, at least. Uh, enter. Let's try that button. No, not that. That's jump. Um, I, I'm clicking, but it's not working. Is this not the recovery disk? Have I just picked up any random old thing? Is that what I've done? Yes, I've picked up any random old thing. Great. How do I know which one's the recovery disk then? Presumably because it will say recovery disk on it. Okay. What is that? I mean, that's got something written on it at least, which I guess is better than nothing. Let's try that. Hooray! I think we managed to reinitialize the system. Great. I still have no idea what's going on. System recovery complete. Re please remove the system recovery disk and store it in a safe place. I shall do that. That's very quiet. Um, uh, password? I, I don't know what my password is. Oh, goodness. Um... No, it wasn't 1986. Okay, that was a complete guess, but uh, never mind. Um, okay. Now I need to find a password. Th I, this is not quite what I was expecting the game to be. Okay, so I can't... I can't, like, pick them up and examine them, sort of turn them around, flip them around, and actually look at them properly, so... This is going to be quite difficult. Oh. Oh, it's up there. 4167. Okay, that's slightly up. Uh, 4167. Okay, that was. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. back. Sir, a number four. <laughs> what? Find your perfect match now. What? Have all the time you world. No, I don't. I actually have really limited time today. Excuse me. What? We've gone from old computers to rather. What? What? This one, I suppose. Is someone good enough? What? Lucas Kim. What age? What? So far, Lucas has refused to talk. Perception hostile. What are you wittering on about? Okay, so each of these people, each of these things represents a card. Each of these discs represents a person. I cannot speak today to save my miserable life. Right, who is this? What? She likes a f afternoon naps and long walks. She is looking for a like-minded person to share her remaining days with. She's 24, for goodness sake. Calm down, woman. Everything's going to be fine. I know this year has been weird, but come on. It's not that bad. Okay, so I've only got five minutes. Discreet error. Okay, that one didn't work. That person was broken. Okay. So, I am now literally just shoving random discs into this in the hope that one of these has the dating profile of the correct person? What's this? Faye, 56. She doesn't look 56. Thick layer of mold forming on the exterior surface. Match not found. Okay, I, that was rather rude of you to say about her, but never mind. Poor Faye. Right, let's get on with our lives. Alright, chill, for goodness sake, things ain't so bad. This is not what I was expecting in the least. How much time have we got? Another three and a half minutes. There's no way I'll get through all of them. Oh, for goodness sake, so many of these are all, all, all screwed. Is it because they've got, like, the, like, the scratchy labels on them? Should I be noticing that? Yeah, I think it's the ones that don't have labels or have labels that are all scratched up. Let's see if if this one doesn't work and this one does, then we'll at least have that theory proved. Oh well, there goes that theory. Uh, John, age redacted. Oh, great. What a open bloke he is. He has told me the grand total of nothing. Right, what about this green one? Who's here? 
Brilliant. I was planning on playing some SCP games uh, later in the day. I didn't realise we were going to be starting so early. Great, so we didn't match with uh, whoever they were, or whatever they were. Stanley, 36, spent five years living with the mother. Um, I, I, I think that's something from, uh, what are they called? Earthbound games? Is that what they're called? Right, I don't know if they're referencing that. Goodness, there are a lot of these things to get through and not nearly enough time to do it. Who's this? Douglas, age 20. What's the SIG? Or BLD? Well, that must be blood type, presumably. I haven't got a clue what any of this information means. Right, I suppose we'll keep trying then. This is... Just don't throw the thing at the screen, for goodness sake. Practice proper disc love. I don't love this disc anymore. Go away. Sheesh. It, get in the player for crying out loud. Oh dear. Who's this? Caroline, age 37. Looks a bit like a Mona Lisa if she was slightly more of a serial killer. Okay. Oliver, 37. Quickly formed an unbreakable bond. It became very intense. Okay, I thought it was bad manners to discuss previous relationships on first dates. Okie dokie. Sheesh. I mean, it's accurate how floppy these were back in the old days. He says, never having used one his entire life and making rubbish up, but never mind. Okay, so some of them are bad and some of them are monstrously bad. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Again. Okay. Oh, one that actually worked this time. What's this? Alice, age 45. Deceased. Well, that's going to make things quite difficult, isn't it? I'm pretty sure you have to be alive to get married in this day and age. Weird old 21st century that we live in and all, but I'm pretty sure that's something of a requirement. Gosh. We're going to write a little pile for ourselves here at the bottom, aren't we? Get in the thing already. This is not what I was expecting at all. What? Imogen. You are absolutely terrified. She sits in darkness most of the time. Somehow I guessed, you know? Looking at that image, I think I could have figured that out on my own. I think she just sits in the ground, chanting. <laughs> Hopefully not making quite that much noise. We could be here a while. Actually, no, we probably couldn't, actually. What happens when I run out of time? Do any of these provide a match? Match no Yeah, evidently. What happens now? Do I get murdered? No. Oh! No. Yay? Make up your mind. Goodness, you're fickle, aren't you? Right, you my match. <laughs> I remember why I wanted to play this now. Oh, how stupid of me. I completely forgot. Oh well, that's the end of that. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, okay, I remember why I wanted to play this now. I wanted to play this because this is actually made by the same person who made the very first game that I ever played in any shotgun. It was actually the very first game, the very first shotgun was made by the person who made this, which is why I was attracted to this and I wanted to play it. So, um, this is weird. This is really, really weird. It's, it's sort of... The concept is, is is quite impressive. I'm I'm not entirely convinced about uh, about uh, this, but this is actually kind of sort of weird and freaky. It's it's good. I don't really know what it is. If I'm honest, I don't really know how to feel about it. But yeah, it's it's kind of cute. It's kind of weird. It's kind of freaky. I quite enjoyed it. Apart from the really really loud disc errors. <laughs> 